You've got a heartbeat in it. I mean, literally. And uh, I, I can't wait to share it with the people. Who wrote this one? Yeah, it's a, um, I wrote this one. And it's basically just about, uh, well, essentially, it's just about my girlfriend going to uni. She's a year older than me. And I was like, mm -hmm. oh, don't go, don't go. Yeah, and I was like, even though I know, I know it'd be fine, but don't go, don't go. It's at like the end of an era sort of thing. And that was the whole, uh, at the end was the slamming the door kind of thing. That's how I wanted the feel of it to be. It's kind of like the door shutting on a, on a new era. But then when you see, when you listen to the album, the next track after that is very sort of upbeat. So it's like that transition is a door shutting on one era and a door opening on another, on another era. That's basically what I wanted to do with that. Mm. That's that's very good. I, I like the concept, and like I said, I can't wait to hear uh, the next track and the one after that, and the one after that. Uh, it's uh, you've really done a number, and I I think back to when you first came on the show, and the the potential was there. John and I both agreed. Uh, you, you just had that sound that you just felt that hey, here is a good band. That's going to be a great band, and you've definitely headed in that direction. What's happening to you guys so far with the uh, first two tracks that you've got out? Well, I mean, thank you so much for that. I um, really appreciate that. Thank you. But yeah, I mean, basically, with when we released Calm, it, the response was just huge. Really, it just blew up, and we, you know, we got so many, we got hundreds uh, of new followers coming in, and the, the same. It was a yeah. shock, really, wasn't it? To be honest. Yeah, <laughs> we didn't expect it. I mean, I mean, well, we basically we wanted to reinvent ourselves with this album, and so we we got some photo shoots done. We wanted to reinvent our whole image, everything, um, not just the music. And um, we started teasing the track before it came out with all these new pictures of us. And then the track came out, and, and everyone just caught on. And then we're like, oh, I just can't wait to release the next one because we all, we all as a band agreed. I actually, don't want you to go. Is actually a better song than Calm. We were like, oh, if they like Calm. We, I feel like we really tried to open our minds up a bit more to what we could potentially do and also remove like limitations. I mean, as my brother was saying about um, how in the past we have always kind of restricted ourselves to one genre, with this album we kind of stepped out of that and tried something out there, you know, something mm -hmm. completely different. And, and we feel like we've been able to do it. And we just hope that everyone else feels the same. I think so far, a, a major. Go on. So far, a good yeah, go indicator on. that uh, they love what you're doing. And, uh, and that's a great sound for you. Uh, tell me, with the lockdowns and the lack of touring and live playing, what are you doing to keep that edge alive? Writing. We've been writing the next album. <laughs> keep our heads down, really, and, and we've actually finished the next album. Yeah, almost finished. It's we almost there now. Just been keeping busy, really, letting our hair grow. You know, not taking ourselves too seriously. Mm -hmm. um, Trying to see the positives in in what's kind oh, of happening to all of us right now. You know, absolutely. Yeah. yeah I yeah. guess I better. Uh, I guess I better uh, schedule your uh, return appearance for when the album is written. The next album is ready. <laughs> well, well, exactly. Oh, exactly. <laughs> uh, we, that's we, awesome. Are you doing any? All right. Are you doing any uh, any live uh, online? Um, we've we've been debating it, and we we actually um, we're thinking about it um, now that the whole band is able to meet up and obviously social distance and all that. We're um, we're definitely thinking about it, and it is becoming more of a possibility. So we probably will be doing that at some point. But we've also actually got a gig in London at the Islington, but for August and ninth. So we're hoping. Ah judging by everything that's being eased right now, we're hoping that we will yeah. we'll be able to go ahead with that because we just can't wait. We've been caged up for so long. Just so oh, right. we've done, really, you know. Believe me, we know the feeling. <laughs> it's going around over here, too. We've, uh, matter of fact, we've started it going the wrong direction, and a lot of places are backing off on their opening right now, and uh, that's not a good thing. We don't like to see that. But please keep us yeah. in mind, mm -hmm. keep us notified of what's going on and when you if you do do a live feed let us know so we can help you spread the word we will do thank you no, thank you really appreciate that 
Really appreciate it. Absolutely. Well, we appreciate you sharing with us, and uh, we're, we're just so, so rocked to be able to uh, share the music with you. John Bon Jovial, you want to jump in here before we have to let him go? Oh, yeah, because we've only got a little bit of time left, guys. But, you know, seriously, it is such a pleasure to have you back on again, and it is a pleasure to uh, listen to the metamorphosis of your music and how it has developed uh, over the years and – uh, it really, uh, you guys are doing a great job. Um, now, you know, I never say anything bad about anybody on the air because, you know, it's just not cool to do that. But, but seriously, in all sincerity, you know, we really uh, are impressed with what you guys have done, and we just really look forward to following you in the years to come. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Means it's so a, much uh, You're a perfect example of what I tell every guest we have on the show. We want to keep in touch with you because we like to follow the progression and the growth of all of our guests. And you guys have personified that to the max. And we are so glad that you keep sharing with us. Thank you so much for sharing, for caring, and for coming back and visiting us. Oh, of course. Always. It's two way street. It's always two way street. Fantastic. Thank you, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, Wild Horse. This is their latest track. I want you to listen to this because you're going to hear more of it. It's called Don't Want You to Go.
there you go. Wild Horse, Don't Want You to Go. That's the first two tracks off their new album coming up real soon. Watch for it online. Uh, watch for Wild Horse UK. And uh, also keep in touch here following the David Bowers Awards because we'll pass the word on to you as soon as we have it too. John Bon Jovial, I think we've done another hour. I think it's about time to uh, to pack up the old suitcase here, uh, pick up the the disco lights and uh, the microphones and all the other equipment, put them in their respective cases and get on out of here and take us home. Yeah. Now that we've been a bad enough influence on everybody's children, I guess it is time for us to get out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for spending the hour with us. We are so grateful and we will see you uh, next week here on the David Bowers Awards. That's what we're hoping for anyway. The David Bowers Awards, we are broadcast around the world from the studios of Computer Help USA in Naples, Florida, and of course from the Valley of the Sun in Tempe, Arizona, and uh, available for free on most of the major streaming services. Be sure to follow the David Bowers Awards on Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, and all the usual suspects, and join us next week for the David Bowers Awards. Uh, That's going to be Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern on WRFZ-FM. That's 106.3 on their FM radio dial, otherwise known as Rochester Free Radio. And, of course, on our uh, major platform, which is Blog Talk Radio, Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific, and 6 to 7 p.m. UTC. So until next week, for the David Bowers and Nick, our marvelously geeky and lovable engineer, hop along sarcastity and all the usual idiots that hang out with us, uh, I am yours truly, the lovably legendary John Von Jovial saying, uh, be good to each other, stay apart from each other, love each other, wash your hands. <laughs> we'll see you next week right here on the David Bowers Awards.